Yeah, the Obviously, Monsieur Gautier in fine form. That looked like a tough match. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I'm obviously disappointed, but no disrespect to anyone else, but I think he's playing you know, the best squash in, in the world at the moment, so I'm disappointed to lose, but um, you know, you have to give credit where credit's due. Um, you know, I wasn't wasn't that far away from you know the first two games, so but narrowly losing to narrowly winning the first two games is uh, is a big step, which I'm trying to trying to bridge at the minute. So. What was your plan going into this match? Um, you know, I know he's good around, uh, across the middle, so I was just trying to either hit it long or hit it short. You know, so it was just trying to lengthen the court. So. That's what I was trying to do. I don't know. I did it in patches, um, but you know, not not quite well enough. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm disappointed. But you know, I think I've just lost the uh, best man in the world. So I'm, I'm, is he doing things differently now? Is he better than he was six months ago? I think ago? so. I think so. I think uh, he's a little bit more consistent. Um, I think before he got to a physical. Edge and uh, he made a few errors. I think he's cut those errors out. So um, obviously, you know, it's all very open. I just think he's slightly better than everyone else at the moment. But you know, it's it's just <coughs> he's. I don't know what he's doing. Maybe maybe I need to ask him that. But uh, he's he's playing well, and uh, you know, you have to be on your, your top of the game to, to challenge someone like that. And unfortunately, I wasn't there. But talk about your game, you know, you've got up to the world top ten, that's your home base now. Pushing on even higher next year has to be the goal. Hopefully, yeah. Um, my target was to finish the season uh, top eight, so um, I might I might manage that. I think we've won in uh, Malaysia last week, so um, I'm very happy. I won a three, four and a five star this year, so this season, so I'm I set myself quite hard targets, but um, hopefully I've achieved that. I'm very happy, you know, playing squash and feel very lucky to play every game. Great stuff. Hagada next week? No, no. I You're think just this is giving it. that one a miss. Yeah, I think this is it for me. This is like pretty much the end of my season. So we've got the European teams and then the European individuals, uh, and then I'm going to hold it. And after the holiday, um, training, training, preparing for next season, trying to push on again and. Beat the likes of uh, you know, just yeah. I hear that you've been having some help recently from Peter Nickel. Yes. Yeah, on and off court. On and off court. Yeah, he's uh, become a good friend, and um, it's uh, you know it's a pleasure. I think he's maybe showed in in my squash. I'm enjoying it a lot more. And, um, you know, he's he's inspirational. He's you know when I first joined the tour, he was number one, and to get on court with someone like that. Um, He's an honour, so I, you know, it's just like I said, I'm enjoying it, and hopefully, it's coming across in the squash. And uh, you know, it's, it's all happy. Good stuff. Thank you. Okay, thanks, Peter. Thanks very much. Cheers.